It's been one year since a man from Satsuma was killed in a tornado in Louisiana. David Swan was working in Convent, Louisiana in late February of last year when the tornado killed him and a friend in a trailer park. News 5's Chad Petrie has more on how Swan's family has kept their lives together since his sudden death. It's hard to imagine how powerful that tornado was. Mary Swan shows me what's left of her husband's pickup towed from the rubble of this trailer park last year. In 2016, Mary Swan worried about losing her home. Since then, a combination of faith, work, and an insurance policy she nearly dropped helped make ends meet. Mary Swan says she and her family have traveled to Louisiana at least five times since the tornado to pick up personal effects, but most of all, to keep the memory of her husband David alive. I feel bad if I don't go, um, like nobody cares. This is where David's trailer was. They went to Louisiana last week to mark the one-year anniversary of the storm. Still standing, crosses left in honor of the tornado victims. Mary says the biggest challenge back at home is silence. And it is true that when it gets quiet, everybody goes home, it is you. You have to deal with it. I learned that um, I wish I would have been nicer to David. On the front porch, plants from David's funeral, and inside a vast collection of pictures so David Swan won't be forgotten. In Satsuma, Chad Petrie, News 5. Scott Ellis was the second victim in the 2016 convent tornado. Family say that Ellis was staying with David Swan while the Satsuma man worked on a welding job in Louisiana.